get well rested. And what do you need? Let's go ahead and grab Draco. And where's Boone? Boone, you were made for this. For everything except the Legion playthrough, you were made for this. Alright then. Lily. Rex. Veronica. Oh, there you are. Is it time? I'm re See you around. All right. Let's go. What is that death claw doing up here in my penthouse? As you can see, Vegas is humming along. I've tested my C3I broadcasting arrays. Everything is in order. And just in time, as it turns out, the forces of Caesar's Legion are on the march, establishing a staging area east of the dam. Their assault could begin at any moment, so that's where you'll be heading, if you're ready. Hoover Dam. Uh, why should I be there? The NCR is there. Indeed they do. An army that'll be too distracted with killing legionaries to notice the real reason you're there. Your objective is to reach a control room halfway across the dam and install an override module similar to the one you used at the substation. The override will enable me to control the entire dam's power output. You may remember how the bunker at the fort was rather dimly lit. Well, just like the Lucky 38, it needs a big jolt of electricity to power up. You've already uploaded the new operating system to the Securitrons. All they need is power, and they'll be in fighting trim. I have some questions. Even now, on the brink of battle... Uh, well, then Emily asked me to bug one of your data terminals. One of the followers of the apocalypse, I'm sure. They're curious about me. Good luck planting a surveillance device here in the Lucky 38 without my knowing about it. What else did you want to discuss? What should I expect at the dam? Imagine two snarling dogs fighting over a curve of bone. Perhaps the rib of their master long dead. It'll be a pitched battle, that's a certainty. Perhaps the greatest battle the Earth has seen since the human race nearly made itself extinct. Legion tactics. The Legion will mount a ferocious and determined frontal assault from the east. That much is certain. Still, Caesar is a capable strategist. I'd be surprised if he hasn't found some way to infiltrate the dam or the NCR's rear areas. Back to business. As I've said, your objective is to install an override module in the control room halfway across the dam. Are you ready to perform this task? Let's do it. We've accomplished a great deal, you and I. One last task and our work is complete. I'll see you in the control room. Let's do it. You must get to the control room and install the override chip. You must get to the control room. Okay. Got, are you a little bodyguard for me? Cool. Great. Huh. Oh, I don't need to loot them anymore. Hey, 
Hey, NCR friends. Go get him, Draco. Turian armor. Eat this. It's the boomers. <laughs> the NCR is probably like, what? What just happened? This is it. This is the big Hoover Dam battle. What? What's so wild wasteland about this area? Stop right there. No one is allowed into the control room. Nonsense. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. Kiratron has fallen. I will take the head because I can. I knew you'd make it. Resourceful as always. The override module is functioning properly. I'm rerouting power to the Securitron vault at the fort as we speak. I just need you to head over to the east power plant and manually activate the switch. When you return topside, I think you'll see that my Securitron army is a little more than the Legion was prepared to handle. Oh, and before you go, grab that printout spooling from the console here. Those papers set the terms for the NCR's unconditional surrender. 
I thought you might enjoy the honor of presenting them to the NCR's commanding officer once the Legion has been defeated. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, yeah I think that, that was just added. Oh, God. General Oliver or highest ranking survivor, the NCR president and counsel from Robert Edwin House. As chief executive of the Free Economic Zone of New Vegas, I demand the immediate withdrawal of all NCR military personnel from New Vegas and surrounding territories. Yes, all personnel, including Rangers. New Vegas and territories includes the Hoover Dam, the airport, Helios 1, and the substation. Or know that my vast army of heavily armed Securitrons has been inflexibly programmed to respond to acts of aggression with overwhelming force. For examples, I will refer you to the pitiless campaign of extermination my Securitrons have visited upon Caesar's Legion. By the time you're reading this document, and do not withdraw, you've seen as committing an act of aggression. Civilians are not subject to the order of withdrawal. They may visit Vegas freely, enjoying all the strip has to offer. So long as the military comply with this order to withdraw, electricity and water will continue to flow from Hoover Dam to the NCR. Five caps per kilowatt hour, five caps per gallon of water. Uh, the council's office of budget will receive invoices bi-weekly. Prices are sub subject to change without notice. Cordially, Robert House. Draco, you gotta go, buddy. Ah, like House is like watching it all now. Switch. it out to the east side of the dam. What am I seeing here? What's the reference? It's the Enclave! Where, where's what's his face? You hear there was some kind of shootout at one of them casinos on the strip? Some people got killed. Or something. That president Campbell nearly got Look, Securitrons. Like, really, this is kind of cool. All the different factions you've organized. the Leggett's camp. Praetorian Guard! Come on! Damn, I was hoping to kill that one. Alright, buddy. What is it?
Uh... You, no, you can stay. You can stay. Praetorian armor. I think I have Praetorian armor. Now I do. Let's go the Praetorian guards. You're mine. Draco. You're mine. The sky turns an ominous red the further we go in. Draco, time to go. What do you need? If you hopefully. All right, you and me, Boone, and Eddie, and Cannibal Johnson. He's tagging along. Should have brought a thermic lance. Oh, I'll be fine. Another way to get to him. I don't think so. Let's quick save again. There he is. Legged himself. An envoy of Vegas. Yet you carry yourself for battle. If so, you cannot truly be of that city of cowards. Uh, Kaisar wasn't brave enough to take the damn himself. Kaisar's will is made truth through me. I am a hammer against this guy's all voice that is amazing. Rule. If you seek to stand against me, you shall fall as the West falls. So, uh... We're gonna kill him first, and then we'll talk to him. Can't wait to have your mask as a trophy. We shall see how brave you are when nailed to the walls of Hoover Dam. Your body facing West, so you may watch your world die. Die. He's a tough one, all right. Where'd he go? Oh my god, he disappeared out of nowhere.
Oh my god. There's the Enclave guy, he's still just shooting all his DACA. Boom! Really? Come on! No, did he die? He did. Well, let's grab Linnaeus' armor at least, or his helmet. Apparently, not his armor. That's it, that's that's his boss fight. Oh yeah, look at that look. Come charging in after I killed everyone for you. Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. Uh, I took it for Vegas. Vegas? What, the families? Or house? You're talking about house. Alright, now. Now we do things the cooler way. An envoy of Vegas, yet you carry yourself for battle. If so, you cannot truly be of that city of cowards. Uh, you are wrong. Wrong! Many graves in the East are filled with those who said as much, with braver words, not backed by strength. It is Kaiser's will this gate to the West bear the flag of the Legion. Kaiser's will shall be done. Perhaps... Oh yeah, blah 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 blah. Listen to reason. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. Persist and learn what Graham learned at the dam and Boulder City. Perhaps that's why I'm here. You dare speak that name. Comparing him to any man of Kaiser will only earn you a slow death. You think me some lesser man, some other legged. I am the first of the Legion, and this gate to the West shall be ours this day. NCR has studied you as they did Graham, and the trap is prepared. Huh. You believe your own words, even if I do not. Perhaps NCR has the strength of a cornered animal. It will Look not this be guy's enough to armor. This place. It's great. They know nothing of my tactics, or the strength of my forces. They will learn. The position of your veterans using the damned intake towers. All is expected. 
We did take the towers easier than expected. I cannot believe even the Republic would overlook such an opening in their defenses. Yet we are at the throat of the Great Bear. Victory is at hand. Ah, oh, bluff, bluff, bluff. Uh... Graham did not smell the C4 until he entered Boulder. He only smelled victory. You play on my instincts. Yet your intention in this. You have nothing to gain by telling me of this trap. Unless you seek to goad me into a retreat. Leaving the battlefield and leaving my honor here to be trampled underfoot by Republic cowards. Uh, perhaps the treachery of your own ranks disgusts you. Of course. And I guard myself from such acts of cowardice and jealousy. You claim that word of my coming has been given to the West so that I might die here. Even as I take the dam. Telling me this does not benefit you at all. You gamble with your words, and your coin is lacking. You return east and exact vengeance and buys the West time, and thins the Legion ranks. When your own must ally with the West in order to remove you, such treachery must be answered. You speak with conviction, and more importantly with honor. And we secured a foothold on the dam, easily as you have said. Graham's overconfidence forever branded him with fire. I will not follow his trail of fire into the depths of the Grand Canyon. The Republic shall keep their old world gate this day. I shall return east. When I return, I shall have all the armies of the Legion with me. I shall await that day. Perhaps it is unfortunate Wolpex was not here to hear your words. Something tells me you would prove more than his match. Until the day when our armies meet again, Envoy of Vegas. I shall wait for you on the battlefield. He's like, alright, see ya. He's like, aww. So now let's go deal with the NCR. As you can see, fight's over. Boone's like, hey, wait, it's over? <laughs> I like that Cannibal Johnson follows you. It's cool to have uh, an Enclave rep working with you. Caesar on the cross. Blah 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 blah. Took you for Vegas. Oh my god, all the Securitrons. What is this Brahmin shit? I'm not getting the feeling we're all about to sing Kumbaya here. Singing isn't necessary, but I do have a paper for you to sign. What the hell are you talking about? What is this? Free economic zone of New Vegas. What the hell does that mean? Oh, wait. Here we go. Demands NCR's immediate withdrawal. Withdrawal? Like fucking hell we're withdrawing. We just held the dam. We didn't do it to let it go. This paper of yours isn't fit to wipe my ass. If you think after all that's happened, I'm going to grab my ankles and take it like the Legion. Ah, uh, let's see. I need your opinions on your compliance. The terms are fair. Refusing them would not be in your best interest. You know I won't surrender the dam. And certainly not to the ghost man of Vegas and his new right hand of the week. You will because the alternative is worse and useless. Ever, arrested, ever resisted arrest? You know the odds. We held this place for years. Kicked one legged out of here so hard, Caesar burned him to a crisp. It's our post. We fought for it. I'll fight for it again today. If you're looking to convince me otherwise, you better have a lot more reasons than you just telling me to go. The fact you're talking with me says a lot about your willingness to fight. 100 speech. True. Guess I'm a little too used to seeing Securitrons in Vegas to think they turn and be bad news. And I know how bad they can get. <laughs> Look. House, Vegas, 
It's pretty. Got you blinded a bit, maybe. But NCR's got perks, too. Think about it before you sign on with him. And if you say no, keep in mind what that means. NCR may have its problems, but when we're riled, watch out. NCR can't even hold the Mojave, and you are threatening me? See what happens. I'm not going to throw away the lives of my men just to make a point. And there'll be other days. And there he is, controlling his own Securitron. You know, I've had thousands of employees in my time. Few met my expectations. Fewer still surpassed them. Your performance has been nothing short of spectacular. If I have need for a specialist of your stripe again, I'll know just where to turn. Back to Vegas, shall we? I really should do something about that monorail with all the new resources at hand. I can make sure it not only runs, but runs on time. Always bothered me, the imprecision. No need to worry about the general, by the way. He'll be held responsible, publicly disgraced. 36.5% probability of suicide, by my estimate. Kimball won't be able to save him. He'll be too busy getting thrown out of office. <laughs> but less than a 3% chance of suicide, mind you. Vegas might see a dip in revenue for a few months, half a year. But soon enough, the tourists and their money will be pouring in. Vegas will be a shining jewel in the middle of the desert, an oasis of light, a beacon to show mankind the way to the stars. This is just the start, you see. This is where it all begins. And we're done. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Mr. House's Securitron army took control of Hoover Dam and the Strip, pushing both the Legion and the exhausted NCR out of New Vegas. Mr. House continued to run New Vegas his way, a despotic vision of pre-war glory. The streets were orderly, efficient, cold. New Vegas continued to be the sole place in the wasteland where fortunes were won and lost in the blink of an eye. The Courier, fair and kind-hearted to those in the wasteland, ensured that Mr. House would keep New Vegas stable and secure for future generations. Mr. House afforded him every luxury at his disposal in the Lucky 38, out of gratitude and a quiet sense of pride for his choice in lieutenants. Tabitha and Rhonda went east, through Caesar's land. Occasionally, tales of their exploits found their way back west, though few believed them. Eventually, the stories concerning the duo were collected and published, and proved to be quite popular with children. Convinced that his time as a gunslinger was past, Raoul made peace with the idea of grown old. After traveling with the courier for a time, he retired and settled down in Outer Vegas, where he would spend his days fixing ancient machinery. Mr. House showed little interest on the boomers, who eventually began venturing out to Nellis to meet and trade with travelers. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley Bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. The death of the Mojave Brotherhood came much too soon for Veronica, and in their absence, she felt truly lost. Yet in its wake, she took small comfort in her decision to remain by their side through their few remaining days. Their leaders destroyed by the Courier, the fiends scattered throughout the wasteland, Without the organization of Motor Runner, Cook Cook, Violet, and Driver Nephi, they were easy prey. Though Arcade was proud to have been one of the defenders who turned back the Legion at Hoover Dam, he was crushed by Mr. House's ascent to power. Saddened by the loss of life and liberty in the area, Arcade left the Mojave Wasteland for parts unknown. He was never heard from again. After Mr. House gained control of New Vegas, he sent a Securitron to Good Springs as a token of appreciation for helping the courier. Victor was a mixed blessing, however, 
as he continually monitored the town for Mr. House. Cass lived to see Hoover Dam in its old world glory, humming with power the likes of which the Mojave had never seen. Vegas burned brighter than ever. Securitrons filled the streets, and Cass's heart skipped just a little. Her last words were to the dam and to herself. We were going full speed ahead, but facing backwards the whole time. Thanks to the courier and Lily, a cure for the nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. Flush with his victory, Mr. House sent Securitrons into Freeside, thinking to increase his control over the area. When fighting broke out, the Kings fought valiantly, but were no match for the armored killing machines, and were wiped out to the last man. With the transplant of Lupa's brain, Rex gained all of the donor's experiences traveling with the Legion. These melded well with his own memories of the Legion, and his new mind quickly adjusted to the myriad memories. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Though NCR was withdrawing from the region, Boone remained in New Vegas, finding work as a security guard and caravan scout along the highways. While he might have preferred rejoining his old unit, Boone couldn't bring himself to abandon the city where he'd met his wife. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the waste, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. The citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Prim Slim proves to be an able-minded, if not able-bodied, sheriff for Prim. And due to his slow speed, some crooks get away without a scratch. But Prim continues to prosper under his watchful robotic eye. After their bold arrival at Hoover Dam, the remnants disappeared as quickly as they came. Legends of their power spread throughout the Southwest, a reminder of why people once feared the sight of vertebrates in the sky. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. And that's Fallout New Vegas. And also the end of Tale of Two Wastelands. We are done, done, Done. I am so glad to be done with this game. <sighs> um, it was a good mod. I liked combining the two into one. Uh, Fallout 3 and uh, New Vegas. I liked uh, New Vegas bounties, even though... It, uh, I didn't like getting ambushed like that all the time. I feel like I should have been able to prevent those. Uh, well, watch the bounties videos. You'll, you'll understand what I mean. But overall, good mod. Uh, the DLCs they were not as fun as I remembered. Like, none of them were. Like, I loved Old World Blues the first time I played it when it came out. And this time I was just like, eh. Same thing with Lonesome Road. It was like, eh. Or all of them, actually. Um. Yeah, Honest Hearts was always meh. Ah, uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Ah... Uh, 
yeah. That's about it. Uh, obviously, I didn't do everything. I completely forgot about the Vault 19 Powder Gangers. I, every time, I've forgotten about them. Every time. But... Overall, it was fun. I do think House is the correct way to go. The Legion is just no. Uh, the NCR, for similar reasons, no. They're both these big empires. They've got too much to do with too little resources. So they're just annexing, annexing, annexing. Uh, I don't like Yes Man because that's just complete anarchy, which is no. I feel like House is the best middle ground for all of it. He's, he's a bit despotic, yes, but so is the Legion. Legion's worse than he is, and in their own ways, NCR is worse than he is. Slightly better than him in some ways, but worse in some ways than him. I feel like really it's a toss-up between NCR and House, and I just lean towards House myself. Uh, plus, I like the idea that something puts a hard stop to NCR expansion. Like, no. Time out. Chill out. And I like having New Vegas as like the hard counter. Like, no, we have the electricity, we have the water, we have the army of killer robots. And you're gonna stop here, and you're gonna listen. And they have to listen. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's about it. Uh, but I gotta say, though, for all the good of New Vegas... The, the brokenness of it cannot be overstated. Like, towards the end, I installed the, uh, the anti-crash patch. I didn't think I would need it. I underestimated how much this game would crash all the time. It was terrible. I had the anti-crash patch running. I had the 4 gigabyte memory patch running. It was just... Ugh. But we're done. Uh, I don't know what's coming next, as of yet, but, uh, we'll see. So without further ado, I will let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this extensively long, long playthrough, but again, it's too... The reason it, it's so long is it's two Fallout games, which any one by themselves is, is a big playlist, but combined, as I as the mod does it, huge game, because it's... it's Fallout 3 and New Vegas combined, with all their DLCs combined, with a, the New Vegas Bounties mod combined, all into one, so to be expected. That's why it's one reason I broke it up for as long as I did. So I, I, I finished Fallout 3, did Fallout 4, waited a few months, did some other games, hit up New Vegas again, knocked out all the New Vegas stuff. Um, but yeah. <sighs> I feel like this is a good game, and if they had worked on it more, it would have been a much better game. I feel part of that is Bethesda's fault, for it's like, you have 18 months, make a new Fallout game, go. I feel part of that is Obsidian's fault, for like, yeah, we can do that in 18 months, okay. And then, like, and then, like Caesar's Legion has so much content cut out of the game. Like, there was originally going to be, like, Legion cities you could visit that, you know, you could actually see other nuances of Legion life besides the big military crucifixion slave driving stuff. You know, that way there would be more more of an argument for Legion control. You know, it's like, oh yeah, it's like look, there are no there are no raiders in our territory. There are no mutant monsters in our territory because we wipe them out. Everything is perfect. Like the traders comment on, it. they're like, oh yeah. I don't mind traveling in Legion territory because, yeah, they tax me, but that's all I have to deal with. I don't have to worry about fiends or, you know, death claws or any of that in Legion territory. At the same time, you know, Legion also has plenty of downsides. Like I said, that's why I didn't support them. Uh, but yeah, now I'm just rambling. I liked New Vegas. It was good. Could have been better. I'm probably never going to touch this game ever, ever, ever again. Because I do not want to ever, ever, ever deal with a game this broken ever again. By choice. That's why I, that's why I preview games. Like, I was going to play Dishonored 2 when it first came out. I was like, oh no, it's performance issues, optimization. It's like, mm, I'll pass. So I passed on Dishonored 2. 
yeah. Probably never playing this game again. Fun game, good game. I would recommend it for any Fallout fan. But man, is it broken sometimes. I would definitely recommend the PC version. Especially as because the other versions like 360 and PS3, and those are older consoles now. I definitely recommend the PC version. I would definitely uh, recommend the 4GB patch and the New Vegas anti-crash patch to, uh, you know, make the game run better. It's no guarantee, but it helps. It definitely helps. Um, Tale of Two Wastelands, you can take it or leave it. If you want to have an uber character like me, go for it. If you want to have two separate playthroughs, go for it. Uh, Vegas Bounties. Fun mod. Difficult mod. Um, but had some cool stuff in it. Uh, I'd play it for fun if you want like a, a challenging DLC. Or a mod. Uh, very challenging. Sometimes I think overly challenging mod. I feel like maybe that part of it was, play, was because I was playing on very hard difficulty. I feel like any person should not take a 50 caliber round to the face and live. So when I would be sniping some of these bounty targets and they would survive a 50 cal to the back of the head, like, no. No, sir. You are dead. No. But yeah, I'm, now I'm, I'm rambling again. I'll see you guys next time.